Meanwhile, Jesse heads to Glen Iris in Melbourne to start looking for flooring options to help Suzanne get that coastal look that she's dreaming of. Michelle, thank you so much for meeting me here today. I'm working with a lovely couple, as you know, Greg and Suzanne, and we're helping them on their journey with designing their new home. Now, it's on the coast in Flinders, and they're wanting to use a lot of timbers throughout the home, so I thought you would be the perfect person to help answer some questions and maybe even give some inspiration to them. Yeah, so we really wanted to show you this home here. So it's a perfect example of incorporating sustainable timbers into a variety of applications for this really nice design flow throughout the whole house. Well, I even noticed just walking up to the home, I see the timber cladding on the fence, on the front facade, the beautiful front door. Are they all supplied by you? Yeah, they're all supplied by Australian Sustainable Hardwoods, also known as ash. So we supply a variety of different applications, profiles and species of timber. And I've noticed some of the timber on the cladding in the front gate has started to go grey. Is that intentional? Yeah, so that's definitely something you can achieve with our cladding products. So if you do leave it uncoated, it can weather and create this beautiful grey sort of colour. But you can also coat it regularly to maintain that blonde timber appearance. Well, the reason I asked that, because I know that Suzanne mentioned she was wanting her home to like go grey with all the decking and cladding as well. So that's great. <laughs> I can see why you wanted to show me this home, Michelle. It is absolutely stunning. I love that wall panelling at the front entrance. It's stunning, isn't it? So what you see there is our glacial oak. So you can see it's very blonde, it's got a very clean finish and also a very unique swirly grain. And I noticed as well that you've actually used that on the ceiling here, which I haven't seen before. Yeah, definitely. So you can use it for walls, you can use it for ceilings and many other things as well as doors. Um, and one good thing about this timber is that it's available in so many different applications so you can match it to things like your stairs and also your joinery, your door seals and things like that. The floorboards look absolutely gorgeous. Is that a lime wash effect? Yep, so this here is Ash's range of internet flooring. It's got a four mil top wear layer and in total it's 15 mil thick. So with the top layer, you've got the choice of either our Australian oak or also our glacial oak. So the great thing about these species is that they're both very, very blonde. So you can achieve a very light finish like this one here and you can also achieve your darker finishes. Greg and Suzanne are really passionate about sustainability. So what makes Ash's timbers so sustainable? So our timbers are sourced from well-managed regrowth forests and also all our products are manufactured in Australia at our plant in Hayfield. What I love about this home is how brave they're being with their selections. You've got the concrete finish look on the walls, you've got the light blue joinery, you've got these beautiful linear bricks there as well. Even the ceiling with the timber line, yet everything feels so cohesive. I guess that's a credit to like the ability of the natural timbers. Yeah, definitely. So this house is a collaboration between Orbis Constructions and Nala Design, and they really wanted to create a sanctuary in the inner city suburbs of Melbourne. Well, it does feel very calming and, and you do feel really good in the home. It has a great energy. It definitely does. and. I think a lot of it is thanks to the timber finishes and also a lot of natural light that you've got entering thanks to the high ceilings and the large windows. 